Hi, my name is Stephen Thomas and I'm going to be looking at the entrepreneurial marketing of the company Eskimo. There are a few ways in which entrepreneurial marketing can be defined. In 2006, Betra described it as effective action or adaptation in order to meet the specific needs of a small medium enterprise. This basically means that it's about having flexibility in your thinking, being able to adapt to a given needs of a company or a product. Another definition can be seen through Ionita's work in 1982. This is where she claimed it was mainly about creating, communicating and generating value. In short, she claims that the main focus is how to get the product out there to the world in the best way possible and to create extra value where there wasn't before. A more contradictory approach can be seen through Chasen's work in 2006. Jason claimed that the size and budget of a business isn't relevant and it's all about the methods that the entrepreneur actually puts into practice that define how entrepreneurial they actually are. Eskimo are a small Midlands based hand made milkshake company that focuses on providing customers with the ultimate milkshake experience. Since being founded in 2015, they've created a menu of milkshakes that offer customers over 50 flavours of milkshakes. They currently possess four stores, two in Lincoln, one in Grimsby, one in Hull, and it's in great popularity with the student demographic in these areas. Looking at the macro environment issues that may surround Eskimo, one issue is the looming factor of the sugar tax and how if the tax was a spread from sugar drinks to other sugary products, it could have a negative effect on Eskimo. This is down to the fact that they would most likely have to increase their price of their product, which is already seen as a luxury product at £4.10. This could see a result in lots of customers with their main consumers being in the student section where disposable income is usually relatively low in comparison to other demographics. Another issue can be seen through the recent surge in attitudes towards veganism. Veganism is on the rise and as more and more people get behind the social movement it could result in a huge loss of customers rescue movement as all their co products are dairy based. Therefore, should this social movement continue to grow as it has done, it could be a real issue for Eskimo in the coming months and years. Technological advancements have also put a strain on Eskimo as there are plenty of DIY milkshake machines available on the market. The idea of a homemade milkshake which is far less costly can be seen as, and could be seen as less time consuming than going into a store and physically purchasing a milkshake has its benefits. Therefore, the more technology advances in terms of milkshake accessibility at home, the more the need for small shops to purely focus on milkshakes diminishes. In terms of the micro-environment, Eskimo has many competitors in the milkshake industry. The recent rise of dessert-only restaurants such as Gaspers are an issue for Eskimo as these places are vastly becoming more and more popular. This spells danger for Eskimo as these places are also able to sell their virtual product at a cheaper price while also offering additional value in terms of the actual restaurant experience. Another issue can be seen in the employee category. This is down to Eskimo being a very small company, meaning they are only able to hire a small amount of staff. At most, there are only ever two employees present in an Eskimo store. This can be an issue as demand cannot always be fully met, resulting in queues and waiting times which could possibly see a loss of customers due to dissatisfaction as a service. Eskimo uses high-end ingredients for their products. This means the production costs of their products are extremely high in comparison to some of their closest competitors. Ultimately, this means customers who do not see the value for money in the product can quite easily find an alternative cheaper substitute to use as they go to a milkshake experience. Eskimo uses a few methods to promote their product. One of the main features they use is the social media medium such as Twitter to promote the product. Every Monday they do an Eskimo Monday which is where people retweet a tweet in order to win a free milkshake. The use of the retweet allows the brand name and overall image of the company to be quickly spread to many followers on that platform. Another method is a recent injection of the loyalty card scheme. The scheme is made up of collecting 9 stickers in order to receive a free milkshake. This method means customers constantly come back to try and acquire the free milkshake, meaning a constant stream of loyal customers for Eskimo. Another innovative method they came up with is the invention of the Eskimo Val. This is a van that can be hired for events such as wedding or parties. Overall, I think the current methods are fairly good attempts at getting the company recognised more and more. They also come up with quirky names that are easily memorable and also flow and fit with the company name, which ensures the image and brand is firmly planted in your head, meaning they are leaving an everlasting impression on customers and potential customers. In terms of recommendations to improve the company, I would suggest using social media marketing. The rise of social media influencers in recent years has surged dramatically with the influence holding so much potential buyer power by having a large following almost at their command. I would recommend getting a YouTuber fairly high profile and getting them to promote the company on their YouTube channel. They should see a rise not only in recognizability but also actual consumers. Another method I recommend is cause related marketing. Eskimo currently charges a high price for its milkshakes in terms of other competitors. 
Therefore, they could allow little room to donate 20% of every sale to charity of their choice. This would hopefully see an increase in customers, and the brand would also be getting a better re reputation as a whole. Finally, I would recommend the viral marketing scheme. Eskimo famously have a cow in their logo, and the moo in their name is quite iconic. Therefore, they could devise a viral challenge where people have to dress up as cows and scream Eskimo as loud as they can. This would hopefully quickly gain a following and build up a brand recognition as the challenge would be all over Twitter and Facebook. The winner will receive a prize of free milkshakes for a set period of time.